Governor Kay Ivey signed two new bills into law following the special legislative session that wrapped up this week. Both of them deal with COVID-19 vaccines. NBC 15's Laura Barteski joins us now. And Laura, these laws actually went into effect right away. Yeah, Kelly, they did. They immediately went into effect. One of the new laws says that Alabama employers can't fire people for not getting the COVID-19 vaccine if they have a medical or religious exemption. And the other requires minors under the age of 19 to have parental consent to get a COVID shot. Alabama Senate Bills 9 and 15 were signed into law by Governor Kay Ivey on Friday. SB 9 says this is an act to require employers to allow employees to claim an exemption from the COVID-19 vaccination for medical reasons or sincerely held religious beliefs. And it was a balance between uh, being pro-business and being pro-freedom and religious liberty and individual freedom. But what about the president's executive order requiring COVID-19 shots for federal employees and contractors? While there is a temporary block on the federal vaccine mandate, it's unclear how this new Alabama law will work with a conflicting executive order. If there's some level of conflict with some of the federal executive orders from the president, uh, then that's an issue that some will have to uh, analyze. The other bill, Senate Bill 15, states a minor cannot receive a COVID-19 vaccine without parental consent, which is very similar to a bill championed in the House by Representative Chip Brown. At the request of legislators, the Alabama Department of Public Health has already started requiring parental consent for COVID-19 vaccines. We have asked that all persons in the age group under 19, unless they are emancipated minors, have consent of their parents. In the state of Alabama, minors 14 years old and up can make their own decisions for medical, dental, and mental health services. But this new law doesn't interfere with the old law, except when it comes to COVID-19 vaccines. Vaccination is routine, and it is not different than other types of medical care that we provide, um, say giving an antibiotic for um, a sinus infection. The new law requiring employers to allow exemptions to COVID-19 vaccine mandates is set to expire in 2023 unless additional motions are made to extend it. Kelly.